the show for. Check out my chicky, check out my. Uh. Now who are you? I don't know, no, what you do? I don't know, no, you show the few. Oh no, no, hold up. Put my, put my, out the jaw, come on. Now who are you? I don't know, no, what you do? I don't know, no, you show the few. Oh no, no. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Chris Hogan, 70 yards. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned to get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Stocker's got it, complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams. When they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll run it now out of the go. Looking for an opening. Not much there. He'll get it to the 39. A gain of three, second down. Well, Derrick Henry, he wound up finishing seventh in the league and rushing 1,059 yards, but gosh, he got nearly a quarter of those in week 14. Yeah, it took a while for him to get going this year and the Titans to get going utilizing him because he was averaging less than 40 yards a game until week 14 and then finished with 585 yards in his last four games. They wanted that type of production throughout the season. So going into 2019, the word for Derrick Henry, consistency. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Nothing open downfield. He had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm 
bomb throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. One, one, one. One. On third down, Mariota. And he finds his target. It's Sharp. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. One, one, one. One, one. On first and 10, here's Mariota. Pass incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. On second down, Mariota again. And a grab over the middle by Stocker. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Mariota to throw for it on four. Open man, it's Stocker. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three one, catches one, for him one. here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll make it second down. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And that is caught by Davis for a Tennessee touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Titans are just an extra point away from moving out in front. Precision, precision, precision. That's the definition of it right there. Great pass, great catch for the score. Yeah, people talk about arm strength all the time. Well, if you're not precise and you're not accurate, the arm strength really doesn't matter. We saw a little bit of everything with that throw. Extra point put through by Suckup, and they take the lead here at 7-6. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Okay, partner, got to fit in some Super Bowl chatter here. We're going to have New England and the L.A. Rams, two teams that had to go on the road and win their respective conference titles. And think about this. The Patriots, who went to eight straight AFC Championship games back in the Super Bowl yet again, yeah, they believe they're the underdogs and feel like the whole world is against them. How did they get to adopt that posture? <laughs> but it's working for them. And remember, by the way, the Patriots, their first Super Bowl win was against the Rams back in their St. Louis days. So a lot has changed for the Rams since then. And the Patriots, consistently the most successful team in the NFL. This is going to be fun. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Four down. Four down. Four down. Four down. Four down. 
on play action. Now Brady. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Brian Arakpo. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Now Brady. Eluding the pressure right. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Derek Morgan. Coming on the blitz, he gets him for a loss of seven. That's how we do it. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Single, single. Wait, 20. Wait. From the gun, it's Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hogan. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Foxborough after this. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Shotgun now for Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 from the 12. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Derek Morgan in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Wait, 20. 20. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Fourth down, escaping the pressure right. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. 
Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. He's at the 50, the 30, past the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Brandon, we spent time with this team before the game, and there was never any indication that they did not like their kicker. Well, it shows right now that they didn't like their kicker. Why didn't they just put it through the goalposts and take the lead? That is going to be the question that has to be answered. I don't know about you, but I'm skipping my flight. I'm going to the post-game press conference <laughs> to find out what they were thinking. Instead of playing conservative, they go through the air, and what a stunning turn of events. I sound